Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on the Peugeot 208. Today is the day where we're going to get it on the frame machine and try and do a repair on that seal. Quite a few of you actually in Wednesday's video in the comments reached out and said, surely you don't have to put that on the frame machine now, Rob. But we do actually have to put it on the frame machine because that is the idea of it. We use the framework on the frame machine to push off of and it's mounted on those seal clamps and it's kept very tight. Now we've got it up on the ramp, I can show a bit more of the damage on that seal and why we needed to put it on the frame machine. But what I will say is quite a lot of the comments, which thank you very much, people said, Rob, don't forget, change the back window, the door lock, all that sort of stuff. Because the back door's white, we've actually got to strip that to a bare carcass so that we can spray all the inside of it and the outside of it. So it was just silly to take the window out, put the black one back in to take it all back out again, if that makes sense. So guys, don't worry, I'll be swapping all that over once we go for the refit. So I've come around this side and now we've got it up on the ramp. I can actually bend down and you can see how far that seal is pushed in there now. So it is quite a lot and we'll be mounting it on the frame machine pushing off of it and then Chris has made up a bar yesterday to actually pull on that seal there so that's the plan let's crack on get it loaded onto the jig and start work on it We made quite quick work of that there. It was handy that we'd left the seal clamps on from the last job, but you would have seen it, it probably took us 20 minutes and it only took 20 seconds on the time lapse, but we're gonna move straight on, get the tools out and actually start getting all of the paint off of this area so that we can weave that bar on. I will show you that bar later on today, what Chris has made up. He made it up for it last night while we're servicing the little van, but. I'm sure it's going to do the trick. Let's get that paint off, get the dozer out and try and get this knocked out. We did quite a bit of that there on time lapse. It's quite awkward to show it anyway, but I thought I said to Chris, we'll crack on, get that done. And then, well, here, get it done. And then uh, I'll cut back in and explain what it is that we was doing. So he's ground all the, the paint off and it's actually off the creases, the natural creases that are meant to be in there. So you can see there and then from there, get to about there and then you actually lose that crease. It's completely gone. And it's the same, this end, you can see, you go there, you can feel a little bit there, and then you lose it completely. So he took the paint off and then put red pen all the way along those lines so that we knew where they was. Black, Chris said, black is the worst color, or dark colors in general are hard to do to see those lines. So he made these up last night. These are a couple of, they're like trailer um, sides, what hold the trailer sides on. And he's welded flat bar to them. And if you see, he's actually welded just under, he's put the bars just underneath the line and then put the welds right on the line where we want to pull. We've rigged up the middle one. And if you look from here, the middle one, that's where it's took the most of the impact. And that one's pushed in more than anywhere else. So we do need to pull that first because we've got a bar here to put through. But unfortunately, 
it's not going to go through that middle one because that's in too far. So what we'll do is pull that out a little bit until we're able to get the bar all the way through. And then we can pull all three of them at the same time. And Chris did just say, if we need to go a little bit further that way or a little bit further that way, we have got another two here to obviously weld on as well. The, they, these are only spot welded on there or tack welded. And the reason for that is it's a lot easier to get them off once you've pulled it out. If they don't hold for any reason, then we will have to seam weld them on there to get a, a nice strong fix on there. But the plan is to pull that bit out, we'll stick the bar through and we'll continue from there. So I'm gonna try and film like I did before, live, Chris giving that a poll, and also you can see we've got it on time lapse. And I'm gonna slow that down so that if we don't catch much, that should catch quite a bit. Ready when you are. Mate. I will cut there guys, otherwise we'll be sitting here waiting, unbolting, etc. First little pull down, we managed to get the pin straight through, so we're good to go. Careful guys, I don't want to stand behind the chain over here. So Chris of course has got to come around this side and keep checking, so. Bigger hammer? No, That come out lovely, that has already. Still got a lot to do, a long way to go, but quite nice how that all pulled out quite equally. till we're ready to give it another pop. So moving on there, we had to stop. And Chris has had to stick one more plate on there. He's gonna give that one a little pull out so that we can get a bar through all four of them. It's coming out very nicely, isn't it? Soft, isn't it? Yeah, very soft. So there we go, we can move on now and probably get the bar through all four of them and pull it equally. Managed to get that bar through all four of them and we're ready to go again.
It is far enough out, you say. Starting to look good already. Yeah. You get a gist of what we're actually doing here. Chris has got a straight that. edge out there. That's pretty near there, isn't it? That's, he's really, really nearly there. Done well there, mate, with a few little pulls. We've got to do that. On the bottom bit there, yeah. yeah. So that's the top one, pretty much where we want it. But now we've got that little bottom one, so we're going to move on probably and uh, start working on that one. There, guys, for a bit of a coffee break. It's so difficult. When, when he's doing jobs like this, he does need to be in control and be in the area, really. So it's so awkward for me to record what he's actually doing. Hopefully, I did get enough there for you guys and you did see quite a lot of it but he's really coming along with it. He's got a couple of tiny pinholes there he's got to plug up. He's gonna be welding those plates on one more time, just here and here, and he's gonna give that a tiny pull. Now that is actually supposed to be curved, but he said he's not happy with the distance between that top line and the bottom line. So what he'll do is pull that out and just, he knows that it's the bottom that's low. So he'll just tap that up and get that about right, plug those holes up, and then straight on to the process of the filler work, but it, it really has made light work of it as usual, and it's the best thing for it, getting it on the jig, chucking that dozer on there. You see, it didn't take a whole lot of time, and that's gonna be a lovely little car. And is that structural damage? A couple of people reached out in the comments. I guess that panel's welded on, that would be a structural panel, but it's not had a hard smack this car and i'll be confident you know as usual selling it to anybody because it really is lightly damaged and it's going to be such a nice car so there you go guys chris strikes again and made a lovely job of it he's even got that rolled groove back in there all the way down and he's he's uh, filled the holes up with a bit of weld plugged them up Dollied it up and got it about spot on. So it just looks just like it should now. And when you look down the side, that angle is sticking out just how it should as well. We're now gonna move on to the time consuming part, I suppose, and that is the prep work and the filler work. So we'll move straight on now and get that filled. And there we go, nice and straight, all lovely. That filler work is ready for some primer. Chris did put his eye down it and found another couple of little marks and it was a little bit ripply here. So he want, of course we're doing that. We want it to be perfect, especially as it's gonna be painted into this side anyway. So we're gonna move on now, remove the door. That little dent in the bottom of that seal has been done as well. We'll remove the door, clean it all up, panel wipe it, and I suppose move on to the primer work. But guys, let us know in the comment section down below. What do you think of that? That has only got a skimmer filler in that, and it looks perfect. You'll never be able to tell that that's been repaired there. He's done a really, really nice job of that, Chris has. Been a very long week here for us. More for Chris, he's been indoors in here doing this for the last couple of days. And uh, I've been out and about like I normally am, trying to buy us a few bits and getting on with a couple of other little bits and bobs projects. 
But what do you think of that, guys? We're really happy with how it's turned out. That's now ready to put a bit of guy coat on there, flat back, and send off to the paint shop. Unbelievable to think what that looked like previously with that seal all punched in. <clears throat> We've done a lovely job there getting the shape back in that. As usual, please do let us know what you think of it in the comment section down below. It is, it is a bit, it's a bit terrible really. I've never ever been a bodywork guy and I don't pretend to be. I tried filling a car once and it was a bit of a disaster. So I've always said, I'll leave it to the professionals. And when I used to repair the cars before me and Chris got on board and started doing it together, I'd send it down to a paint shop and you probably remember in some of the back catalog, I'd send them up with dents and scratches and they'd pretty much do everything. I've always based up inside panels. So quite a lot of you in this video are gonna say, Chris has done all the work and you will be absolutely correct because I've had nothing to do with this one apart from take the door off with him earlier and help him. I have been outside though and I've been out in my truck getting this video is for Monday, so that's Friday's video. When I was out collecting the mini, I was doing that video while Chris has been in here flat out on this. So that's brought this video to an end today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Follow us on Instagram for the little sneak peeks throughout the day at Selvage Rebuilds. Like, subscribe and share. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from both of us to all of you. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.